to you Nick, my name's Tom and today's build guide is for the double O or HO cast iron bridge. It comes in this packaging as you can see here. So we'll jump straight to it, I'll bring you closer and we'll start the build. Okay so this is how you receive your kit, it comes in this 6mm plywood uh, MDF box just for protection during posting so you can remove the lid and we'll begin the build. So I'm going to take all the parts out first. You can see these have all got numbers on, so you can try and stack them up in number order if possible. And you've got your two railings, put them to the side for now. Two edging strips, and your two sides to the bridge. And the base we're going to work with. So let's remove this to the side. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to bring in our bridge deck, and this can go either way around, doesn't matter which way you do it. And we're just going to start by bringing in one of our sides again, it can go either way around, it doesn't matter which way. So I'm going to lay one of the sides face down on the table. And where the slots are cut out is where the notches on our bridge deck are going to slit it, slide into. Like so. So I'm now going to apply some glue right down this edge. I'm using super glue for the video, ideally some PVA glue or some type of wood glue would be better, but super glue works fine for me. And you just want to hold that at 90 degrees to one another and let that glue dry. So once that glue is dried, we're going to take our other side. Same process again. We'll put it face down. Find your slots and put them tabs through them again. Like so. Okay, same process again, glue down the inside. Okay, so that's nice and dry now. We've got our two sides stuck together and the bridge will now stand up by itself. So you want to take the bridge, flip it on its top and these central supports are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a load of 6's. So you get 1, 1, you get 2 of each up to number 5 and then there's a handful of number 6's. So you take number one to begin with, and where this central beam is, that's where we're going to start. So this is simply going to slide into place, like so. In the centre of this beam, on the inside, is where we're going to place it. And you want to make sure that the, the, the top of the beam is level to the arch of the curve. So when we're happy with the position, you can apply some glue. So I'll take a number one, label lead in the corner. We're going to have this nice and flush at the top, like so. And we're going to glue on the sides. So I'm going to place some glue 
questão da alçada disso. Slide that into place. And just apply some pressure on the outside, squeeze them in. And that'll hold that one into place. Okay, so that's now secure. Let's take our number two sections, as labelled on the corners. And we're going to work from one, and be in the centre, two, three, four, five, and so on. Just ensure, like before, that when you're gluing these parts into place, that we keep it nice and level with the curve of the arch on the underneath, like so here. So that's nice and flush at both ends, and it's central to that beam in the front. Okay, so I'm going to run some glue down the side of this one. Okay, so that's that number two. We'll go to the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to take number threes. So again, number three in the corner. Same process. The next one up will be number three. I'm going to glue that into position like before. I'm showing that we're nice and flush at the arch top. I'm essential to them beams going down. Number four next. We'll do this side. And we'll go for number five.
Okay, number five, this side. <coughs> Okay, so we're left with a load of number sixes and we're going to repeat the process on the spaces available what's left. It's five on each side. So put five on each side and we'll repeat the process until we've got none left. Okay, so we've got all our struts and uh, uh, underneath supports glued into place. So the next thing we want to do is flip the model over. And we're now going to attach our railings. But before we do this, this would be a good point to think about what colour you want to paint your railings and colour them before you glue it into place. So when the, when the bridge is at this stage, you can spray it to the colour you desire, age and weather the bridge itself, and then we'll we'd go away and spray the railing sections, and also the bridge work, uh, the brickwork detail that comes in the kit, we'd paint that as well before we glue it onto the bridge because it'll make it a lot easier. But for the process of the video, it's just all going to stay as wood for me. So, we've got the curvature to the railings, obviously that's going to go on top, and we've got the notches at the bottom of each, and they will fit in the holes along the bridge deck. Like so. So that's all nice and pushed down. It's quite a tight fit as it is, but I will just add a bit of glue just to secure it into place. Okay, and the same again for the other side. Take the other length of railing again with the arch shape to the top. We'll locate those notches and slot them into the gaps. Okay, same again. I'll apply a bit of glue on the inside. Just to secure it into place. Okay, so we're at this stage now. So we're going to take what would be your painted brickwork details and obviously we're going to match the shape and size for each location on the railing section. So we're just going to align them into place and glue one on the outside and we've got enough to glue on the inside so we've got detail across the whole width of the bridge. So I'm just going to take my piece now 
again, best glue for this for you would be PVA glue or a glue that takes a little bit of time to dry. So you've got time to play about with it before you commit to a position. But for the video, I just apply some super glue and try and get it as best as possible. And basically we want to make sure it's nice and flush at the top because we've got some coping stones to glue onto them. Okay, so we've glued our brickwork on both sides, so you can see you've got the front end and the inside of the bridge here. So the next thing to glue on now is the coping stones on top of the brickwork like so. Again these would be painted up, normally in like a sandstone colour or a light grey of something, some kind. So just apply a bit of glue on top, line them up evenly all on all sides and just allow them to dry. So we'll do the same for all the tops to the brick wall along the top of the bridge. Again just to line them up nice and straight, nice and flush. Move we'll down, we'll do the next small ones. Okay, so the last remaining two parts we've got now are the long thin strips which are included in the kit and these are to be glued over the joints visible from the bridge deck to the side of the arch so this will give it a nice stone finish and it will hide all those joints for us so I'm going to just flip them all onto its side try and do it lengthways so you can see where I'm gluing so we've got our thin strip here I'm going to run glue all the way down where these where these tabs are protruding through the side of the bridge and that's where we're going to glue our finishing edge or finishing bead strips. I'm just going to put some glue all the way down one half and now I'll just do one half. So make sure you line this side up so you've got a dark side and white sides. You want a white side or the wood, light wood colour facing you. Or facing out. And that should line up exactly over them strips like so. And I'm just going to work on the back side now so I'll just bend this out the way. Apply some glue all the way down. Just bring this strip back. And just ensure it's covering all those visible joints that we're showing. Okay, so I'll flip the model over and repeat the process to finish the build. So again, I'm going to start with one end. 
Now flag me over those tabs. And I'll run up to the halfway point. Bring in our strip. We want the light side facing out. And just secure that edge into, into place. And then I'll bring move on towards your camera. Just gonna bend it out the way. Apply some glue right the way along the edge to the end. And that finishes the model. Right guys, so that's the complete build for the HO or double O cast iron bridge kit. This is the deluxe version as it's in MDF and comes with the protective casing and display box for it for your layout. So again, as I said in the process build, build the basic structure to your bridge up first. And once you get to that stage, that's where it's time to spray in whatever colour you think's fitting for your layout. So I do I like the bridge sprayed in like a nice red oxide as you would get or even like the copper or weathered copper look you can get that teal green it looked fantastic again so and then you would before you attach your railings spray them whatever color you want aging rust them and the brickwork and coping stones we glue we paint them separate before we paint it on uh, glue it onto the model by all means it could all be done once it's completely built but it make life easier if you spray them up in set in stages or paint them up in stages before you attach it to the model it would be easier to age and weather and you'll get a better bit of better finish so this is available now to order on the website at www.n-sheenit.co.uk we post worldwide as always and we've got a range of double O or HO models still yet to come so keep an eye out if you like and subscribe to this channel you'll be alerted for every new model that's released on our website and you can follow along the build process and see if it's something that you fancy for your own layout so thanks for coming along for the build and we will see you again soon bye bye